So in this video, we're going to show you something really unique about Easy Stone that we put in there for you, and that is the ability to create your own fonts uh, with Easy Stone, and specifically rhinestone fonts. And you can take this as far as you want to, but I want to just show you one example of how you might put this feature uh, to use. And so in this case, we have our Hockey Mom design. And what we're going to do now, this is one of our pre-designed files, and this will work with anyone's pre-designed files. So if you've ever bought a rhinestone design with text in it, you will be able to convert that text uh, into a font that you can use. So let me show you how this works. First of all, we have to come in here and get rid of the part of the design that we don't need. Okay, so the hockey stick we don't actually need. The next thing to do is to get rid of any duplicate letters. So we only need one letter M and we only need one O for our alphabet. Okay, so we don't have a lot of letters for this particular font, but we do have enough letters for Hockey Mom. So we're going to uh, go ahead and let's delete this black box. We don't need that. Now we can just take all these letters and give them a different fill color that we can just see more easily on the screen. Now the key thing when you're working with a font is right now, like the letter M, each one of the stones is its own separate object. We need all those to be one object. So we select all the individual stones and hit combine. And we do that for every letter of our font. So we just hit combine. So now we know that letter Y is all one. We'll do the same for letter E. We'll just pull that over. Our letter K here. Okay, and our letter C. We'll pull that over. That's all one. And our letter O combine and then finally our letter H. So now all these are all one. We'll go ahead and move this up here and I'm just going to hit E. That will center them. The horizontal centers are all even now. I'm just going to copy those to the clipboard. Now I'm going to create a new document and this new document when you're working on creating a font has to be 10 by 10. Okay, that's the first thing to remember. And then we're just going to pull over two guidelines, just like so. Okay, so we just need a little bit of space on the left, a little bit of space on the bottom. Nothing too complicated so far. Then we're going to paste in our letters. And I would come into the View menu and choose Snap to Guidelines. We can snap our letters to the bottom guidelines. And if we really wanted to, we could snap to the left guideline as well. Now, we can resize our letters a little bit. We don't want our letters to be taller than our 10 inch document. How tall they are is really not very relevant for this particular example. But typically I would go ahead and put them fairly tall. Uh, I usually go about three quarters the size of our 10 inch document, something like that. Good rule of thumb. Now, once we have all of our letters, I'm gonna select them all and hit the letter L and that will uh, just kind of line them all up here and just drag them over till they hit our left side guideline there. Okay, so now you can see that they're aligned to the left and aligned to the bottom. Now, to convert this into a font that we can then use. So we come over to the miscellaneous tab and there's a function right here called create font. So let's go ahead and click on that. And that brings up this dialog box where I can specify a location for my font. Um, so for, for example, I could choose uh, my actual font directory, which I could come into Windows uh, right here and scroll down to fonts. That would be fine. And then uh, for the file name, let's call it EST, Easy Stone Templates. You can call it whatever you want. Um, but we'll call it EST and we'll call it Hockey Mom. Okay. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And then we get a, uh, a secondary dialog. Now, we didn't actually get a dialog box. Um, because I made a mistake in that I didn't have anything to export. So I have to select all of my letters. So now all of my letters are selected. Now when I come in here and click on create font, I do the exact same thing. We come to the desktop. We will give it a name. EST. Hockey Mom. And I'm actually going to cheat. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy that 
and hit OK. Then we'll get the secondary dialog box where I'm going to paste that exact same name, EST Hockey Mom. Now this is not a symbol font, so we don't want to check that. And then grid size and leading, we're going to leave just the way it is, but the space width we would typically change. I'm going to leave it so you can see what that difference is. But I'm going to leave it for now, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Do we want to save changes to the font? Yes, we do. And here we go. So now we have our letter C. So I map it to my letter C. Here's, here's our map over here. So there's our letter C, and I click OK. All these other functions just leave everything just the way it is by default. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then we have our letter O. And we have our letter H, and we have our letter Y. So we just map each letter to its proper corresponding letter. Now we're, we're mapping all capitals here. Our letter K, and our letter M. Okay, so now, now what? We have all of our letters mapped. Now let's see if our font works. So I just grab my text tool here in CorelDRAW and I see if I can find that in my list of fonts. So I'm just going to scroll down to EST and let's see here. I have a few. Let's see if I can find it here. Uh, EST, Tester, Modern. Let's see, what did we name it? Uh, we named it i got to think for a second here. Uh, modern. Bitty bitty. All right, I don't see it right off. So, I don't see it in my list of fonts here. And we should be EST Hockey Mom. So let's see if, it, in fact, it was created properly. Um, so I, I see one here on the desktop called EST Hockey Mom, but if I come in here to my fonts folder, I do not see an EST Hockey Mom there. So let's go ahead and just copy it from our desktop and drop it into our fonts folder. And now let's see if we can create something here. So now we'll go down to EST, and there it is, EST Hockey Mom. So we'll click on that, and then we'll just type in Hockey Mom, okay, because right now that's all we really can do. I didn't type very well. So there it is. So there is our EST Hockey Mom. And you can see that spacing that we have here when I hit one space. There's quite a bit of space between um, hockey and mom. So you say, well, now what possible purpose would there be in making this font? Well, one of the things that will be really neat is we could actually uh, take, for example, we could take a oval shape like this, right? And we will duplicate this oval shape like so. And we're going to take this top shape and we're going to come over here to our shaping and we're going to trim the bottom shape, something like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with our pen tool and we're going to click just from node to node there, like so. And do the same thing over here, something like that, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, right here, we're going to just edit this bottom line here. So we're going to just right click and choose break apart. And we're going to delete this. And we're going to pull that back. Oops. Right to here. We're going to create a node there and just drop it back to there. We already have a node there. So we're going to do something like that. So now what have we done? We've created a hockey puck, right? So now if I want to, I can take my text tool with my hockey mom font and when I hover over this edge of my hockey puck I can actually type in hockey mom and you see how that text and maybe what I'll do is I will just do hockey at the top and then do another one at the bottom and we'll do it mom now right now it doesn't look like much 
but I can grab my pick tool. See that little red box? I can actually pull that and put that wherever I want it. See? So it's very, very easy to make these uh, adjustments. So, and then it's just a matter of uh, choosing the proper size for the rhinestone. So let's do like 80 points. So how do we determine? Uh, let's let's do 40 points. How do we determine how big these circles should be to begin with? Well, what we can do here is we can come into our stone and we'll hit drop stone and that drops the stone so this is our target size so we can see right now uh, it's too small so we'll we'll make it much bigger and now we know that this is the target size uh, so again we'll make it a little bit bigger and you know right now it's only five inches wide so it's not it's not like it's very big so you can see comparatively how big it is well we've got a ways to go here and again what we're really looking to do right now is just kind of get it close it doesn't have to be exact just get it close and now when we hover over this you can see that we're more or less the same size circle now you'll also see with our our uh, font here it's not exactly a perfect circle and that is true of a lot of fonts, but we can fix that really easily. So we know that this hockey is roughly the right size. And we can see right here it's about 120 points. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually change that to be 120. Whoops, I put 1,020. We don't want that. So there's 120. Same thing down here at the bottom. We're going to make our mom text 120. So now our mom's deck is 120. We're going to pull that back off of our uh, hockey puck. And same thing up at the top here. We're just going to pull that up just a little bit away from our hockey puck. And now what we need to do is set the spacing between letters a little bit. So let's go ahead and select that. And then we're going to come over here. Um, we don't have our docker open that we need. So let's come to our text uh, docker and choose our uh, paragraph formatting. And for the spacing, let's go ahead and minimize Easy Stone a moment. Um, during the, where the character is here, we can lower that character spacing a little bit. And now you can see how much closer those letters are. The mom is pretty good. We don't have to really mess with that too much. So we're happy with that. And now what we need to do is we just need to kind of break this text away from these curved lines. So we're just going to select our text here. And we're going to right click and convert to curves. So now our text is separate. Same thing up here, convert to curves. Now the next thing we need to do is open up Easy Stone because right now our word hockey is all one. And we need all these individual stones. So over here in our editing tab, we're going to click on break our text, which is the break a rhinestone text. And then same thing with our, our word mom. And now you'll see each one of these is its own separate object. Now you remember I said that this isn't a perfect circle, but in Easy Stone we thought of that because that's a very typical thing. So what we're going to do is select that and go over to the Stone tab and choose Resize Replace. And as soon as we do that, now we have perfect, perfect circles, right? Because Easy Stone took all the original objects and made us perfect circles. So we'll watch down here on our mom. So we're going to select those, zoom in nice and tight, and watch this change. So we just hit Resize Replace. And you can see now those are all exactly perfect circles. So now our template's going to cut out perfectly. And we have our hockey puck with our text that says Hockey Mom. So if we imagine if we were to take our, our hockey stick design and we wanted to uh, put this tech on an arch, um, imagine how much fiddling we'd have to do to get the spacing between the letters, to get the angle of every letter, to the right angle, uh, there would have been a lot of work that we would have had to have done to have this perfectly uh, set up. But utilizing these tools right here in CorelDRAW, um, in conjunction with the tools here in Easy Stone, we're able to create our own font and then be able to apply it to curved objects like this very easily. So I hope you find that useful. I think it's a fun little feature uh, here in Easy Stone that I think you'll get a lot of use out of. Thanks for watching.